isn't, like, the thing is, I get what you're saying, but don't you think, like, where you, when you are in a monotonous, boring relationship, it can get boring? So how can you... But here's the thing, life gets boring. Yeah. It's supposed to. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what it is. People w are constantly thinking, but my marriage has gotten boring. How do I change it? Well, how do you change it? Maybe you need to change your mindset and accept that life gets boring. But surely you can just change your mindset about, like, trying to make things more exciting and you can try you and can. work on stuff and just become different. You know, because over time, when you meet someone from the start to, you know, 10 years down the line, you change. Yeah. You have different interests, you have different things that you like, yeah. and things like that. Mm -hmm. But, like, surely, like... How, how do you maintain how that? do you maintain that how do you I you know what my honest advice I always say this to people is of course it gets monotonous and difficult but when you meet somebody girl or guy who kind of accepts that life gets a bit boring and understands that not every day is pleasure but more so wants intimacy connection and stability rather than excitement you're onto a marriage because that's what marriage is. It's not, you habituate to your partner, you get used to them. And um, people that seek stability, if you look at your parents' lifestyle and the ones that have lasted so many years, there's very little excitement, it's duty. It's duty, stability, predictability that they look for in the relationship and that's what they strive for. They don't actually look for pleasure seeking and excitement. And I think unfortunately, and I'm guilty of this as well, when the relationship loses its excitement, we assume it's lost its love. Yeah. But really, it's lost its novelty. And novelty is only available in new relationships. So what happens is people are craving the feeling in new relationships rather than enjoying the stability of existing relationships. Wow, that's so true. That was a good line. That was a good... <laughs> I made that up on the spot, but it you, sounds no, good. No, literally, it sounded... I, I think sometimes, like... Even I've seen a lot of marriages fail because like they're like, oh, it's Craving monotonous, novelty. It's, bo it's boring, or she's boring, or he's boring. Uh, and it's how society's conditioned us. We, t like I remember when I was a kid watching TV, I'd have to sit through adverts and be bored, and bored through the adverts, or even in the cinema, I'd be bored in the adverts. But now there's no time for boredom. It's like quick, 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 quick watch the next thing, three minute video. We don't create a culture of boredom or monotony or patience. We create pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. And as a result, that translates into real life. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine and um, she's really, really bright. And she, we were talking about how they're gonna invent flying cars. And um, she's like, we can save so much time, like no traffic. And I said, I know, but traffic is the only time where I'm forced to be patient. And I think it's, I need it because I've got ADHD, I'm so impatient. Traffic is the only time I've got no control. I have to be patient. If we remove the parameters that create patience in society, in relationships, we become zero tolerance. That's why I think yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, Because I feel like we've become like zero tolerance now. Zero tolerance. It has yeah, to be like, novelty. It has to be exciting. Even when you hear some people go, I want a man that has this, I want a man yeah. that has this, or even people in relationships now where... They might do one thing and they're like, right, that's it, I'm done. Yeah. Like, uh, well, you feel uh, like disposable. Society's we've gotten uh, disposable. Everything is disposable. If you like, we've gotten, and that's why I say society trickles down into relationships. It's not, you can't divorce the two. So, what goes on society will be um, manifested in your relationship. So, if we have a, a, rela a relationship with society where Amazon Prime, you get something straight away, or something like cheap clothes, so you throw them out, or whatever it is, you replace, replace, replace that becomes a culture in your relationships as well. So one small thing, quick, let's get rid of it and start again. And that's the culture we have now. What do you think like women are gonna struggle with in the next few years with relationships? Uh, I think what they'll struggle with is they're going to lose touch with their authenticity. And what I mean by that is because we're so driven to become something else now, either look a certain way, dress a certain way, act a certain way, act like a bad bitch or whatever it is, what women and most people crave is an authentic, uh, solid connection. And what we're gonna struggle with and we're gonna see a rise in is people becoming inauthentic to get acceptance and to get notoriety. And so what that's going to look like is a bunch of fake connections and then a very hollow sense of self in the future.